So I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. So here's the front door, and then you step back. There's the TV. Have this cute little hanging shelf. Then we have the first bed, cute little chandelier. Second bed. Oh, we also have really cute shutters. Look at the pool. Then you come back have your little sink, get ready area, safe, fridge, oh, shower room, and the toilet. And that is the igloo. screen it's a park so it has like hanging bridges waterfalls all that good stuff and then we're gonna be headed to the beach later but let me show you guys my view but look at the view guys everything is so cute here we have the ability to crawl so they never get stuck oh yes thank you so much wow
Mädchen wird. came back from the Rainmaker tour um, it was a hike and then some I literally felt like I was gonna die I'm not even exaggerating I was I've never sweat so much in my life but it was really nice it was really beautiful our tour guide was really great and the water was so refreshing so it really made it all worthwhile but that was not for the faint of heart I thought I was I thought that was it. I didn't I didn't think I was gonna make it. But yeah, so now we just came back to the the um hotel and we're just chilling, catching a break, and then we're gonna have some lunch and then head to the beach. So stay tuned. My edges <laughs> It's freaking hot here, y'all. That's all I gotta say. Just know it's January. It is blazing. It's like 88 degrees. And the humidity is out of this world. Also, another thing to note, the driving here is a little scary. The roads are like so windy and like uphill, downhill. Just, it's really scary. So, I wouldn't recommend that you rent a car if you come here. I mean, I guess it depends what part of the country you're staying in. But, Manuel Antonio, we're in Cuepos. I would not recommend renting a car. It's a, it's a little bit scary. We did almost wreck yesterday with a driver. And they did make some, they were selling like weed and like pre rolls and stuff, and there was cops out. But they didn't say nothing to them. is day two and Costa Rica well technically day three but full day two uh we just came back from the beach I don't know if you can tell I'm like all sweated out it's so hot here and we're waiting for our tour it is like 11 40 we are going to San or Manuel Antonio National Park at around 12 40 and then after that, I don't know what we're going to get into. Hopefully we catch like a really good sunset. 
and maybe like walk around the town a little bit and go to like a nice dinner. Today's our last day in Clippos. Tomorrow we'll be heading to La Fortuna. So yeah. While I'm waiting, I think I'm just gonna go journal a little bit by the pool or maybe in here. I don't know, it's really hot outside. But yeah, I wanna do some journaling. So I guess I'll catch you guys at the next location. Jesus Christ lizard, that's a juvenile, only four species for Costa Rica. My name is Anderson Brandon, Pura Vida. For Guatemala. Oh, and come on, let me show you something very interesting. Okay, so, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, right now we have the mother and with his baby. That's beautiful, three tallest law here in Costa Rica. My name is Anderson and I have with a nice family from the United States. So look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh baby, look at you. Why can everybody got their eyes on me? <laughs> oh baby, look at you. Love how you sway like you got nothing to prove. Caught you stealing hearts with each and every step of your dance.
Costa Rica vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you did, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in part two. Oh. Yeah, the sunset is the